yeah, people, they have, uh, they steer something up inside them, some type of conviction, and they realize that maybe the life that they're living is not pleasing to God, and they are going to be sent off into the lake of fire uh, with gnashing of teeth, and, and they're just going to die without the separation of God. And that, it's not the pain of hell that's going to be the worst, the most horrible thing. It's going to be the complete separation of God forever and ever return. It's never going to be allowed to come back. When, when you heard the uh, misunderstanding that, well, that's where I want to go to hell because that's where all the rock stars are, baby. That's where the parties at. Uh, no, you're wrong. You're 100% wrong. Yeah, rock stars might be there, but you're wrong. They're going to have the separation of God. Is that, if, I've had, had this question asked me before. Well, would you want, still want to go to heaven if Jesus wasn't there? No. Not at all. I want to be where Jesus is. I want to be where Jesus is. I want to be where that light is shining through. I want to be with the one who paid for my uh, my body, my soul, with his blood. I want to be with the one who's paid the price, who's paid it all for me, for me personally. That was my name that he died for me on that cross, and you put your own name in there. Again, we're living out our faith and working out our salvation. How? Fear and trembling. Fear and trembling. So what do you think that really does look like? Well, you fear you. God. Well, you, meet, you lay, lay with your face in the dirt in the morning, so that's how you feel like well, okay, after, the, after that 10 years, <laughs> you fear God. After those 10 years are up. <laughs> I don't need footprints, I need footprints. <laughs> after those 10 years are up, it's the slop. You can't even get the slop up to his mouth. Procrastination. Laziness. 